Alright, hi everybody. This is Nick from Carillon Audio Blog and Bruto Bello. I wanted to share with you guys something that I've recently discovered and started playing with, which is any of you who follow my blog might know that I've used the other um, MIDI remote scripts by him, specifically the APC4021, uh, which allowed me to do things with step sequencing and all that good fun stuff. But the beauty of this new one is that there's actually a step sequencer built right into the APC itself. I have no idea how it's done. It doesn't require any MIDI from uh, Max for Live or anything like that. It's just <laughs> built right in there and it's pretty seamless. There are a few um, things that you need to be aware of if you're using this though. For instance, I like to use the impulse for my drums because I can do uh, stretching and things like that and I've got a built-in drive and stuff. It's, it's just a little convenient and I like it. Um, but the notes that get kicked out of the APC are like two octaves below and they're chromatic. They're C, C sharp, D, D sharp, and E. Um, whereas impulse only accepts C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and C. So, not a big deal. Sorry, I keep popping that up. Uh, but what you have to do is, what I've done here, create a small MIDI um, effect, <clears throat> excuse me, boosting it up 24 steps or two octaves, and then you create a, a scale effect, which basically takes the note C and exports and, and allows it to go out as a C. Takes the note C sharp and shoots it out as a D, the note D shoots it out as an E, then the next note shoots out as an F and a G. So basically you're remapping those first few notes, those first five notes, to notes within here. Now you're only using five of those individual impulse uh, hits, but whatever, nothing's perfect, it's always evolving. I'll show you how to enact that um, on the APC. It's very simple. It will recognize whichever clip you have highlighted and you have to start playing it. So I'm in traditional APC clip launch mode. I will launch that kick drum there. Okay, so it's a little pattern I've already created. Now to go into the step sequence, all you do is hit shift whoops, and master. So this is the downbeat, right there, it's going across, and it's two halves of a pattern, you've got eight eighth notes, and the next eighth notes right there, so first eighth notes, the next eighth notes to make up your sixteen eighth notes, I'm sorry, <laughs> sixteen sixteenth notes, uh, for your full bar. Now you can zoom in and out of that, we can zoom far out, it's showing me quarter notes now. Zoom in is going to show me eighth notes. But of course there are a couple more notes in there than just eighth notes. There are sixteenth notes happening. So if I zoom in, I'm back at sixteenth notes. You can see a couple things. I can go into even more detail and more detail than that. So there we go. Um, what's very cool about this thing and something that I, that I really think is neat is basically you can tweak the sequence as you're going. So let me show you something here in Ableton. Let's click over and check out that sequence. We can make it shorter if we want. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. It's four, um, f four quarter notes essentially, right? I'm going to say I want to make the length here one. So this button allows you to change the length. How many notes long do you want it to, to play? So as you see, it's now looping that one section right there. The activator light allows you to determine which quarter note you want to play. So it's one quarter note in length, but I want to start at the first one, or the second one, or the third one, or the fourth one. So not only can you change the length, you can change the beginning part of that, which is very cool. So that's pretty straightforward, I think. I mean, it, it took a little while to quite to, to kind of understand the way that's working, but um, 
once I did, I said, wow, that's really powerful. Very cool. So let me go ahead and stop this uh, sequence, or this, this, that little guy. And I'm going to go ahead and start up this empty snare drum one right there. You see it? It's just empty. I'll go shift master, get into my sequencer. And I'm going to go back to just the traditional. Um, so I'm going to show you also the record arm buttons. This is your velocity. So if I go low and push a note, it's going to put it in a low velocity. And the more Right? Very cool, huh? So, you have velocity sensitivity in the sequencer. Also, very happen and cool thing. Um, now, one thing that I like to do, all of your device control stuff still works, so I can swap over clip and track mode. Um, as you can tell, I've, I've got this highlighted for my device control and I have things mapped in there so I can do so I can do fun stuff like that which is is always fun you know you can play with things in real time um, but it's all it's all built right in it's just a great little fun thing now the one thing is I'll go back in out and stop that clip I want to show you another fun thing that I've learned um, isn't necessarily related to the APC 6440 script but that APC 6440 script allows you to do this and some of the other ones did too the, the APC 4021 that I was using before um, what I've done is you've got user modes on the APC now so you have your traditional mode number one and mode if you hold shift and press 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, or 8, those are different user modes that you can assign particular notes to. And then, of course, those notes can be used inside of Ableton to trigger various things. If I go to user mode 3, um, that's going to allow me to play. I've got an arpeggiator on right now. This is going to allow me to play notes that are going into MIDI track 5 here and running right over to analog. I'll show you my in outs. It's just running straight out. Or it's just, uh, you know, this one's picking up the MIDI from, from that channel. And I created something because my beloved uh, Korg SX, I love to, to do the cool um, arpeggiation stuff with that. Well, this APC script allows me to do something very similar. I've created a rack, a MIDI effect rack here, with both a clean and an arpeggiator, which I can change via this selector. So either I'm arpeggiating or not. Um, the arpeggiator allows me to tweak the gate, the rate, and um, I also have it running through another um, rack, which allows me to go up or down an octave based on um, this chain selector right here. So I've got one knob that basically jumps me up and down an octave and um, one to affect my gate, one to affect my rate of my arpeggiation, and one to turn the arpeggio on and off. The APC40 has not only built-in clip launch matrix, matrix modes, but it also has slider modes. Right now we're in slider mode number one, as you can see from this record arm button. There's two, you can choose up to eight different uh, slider modes. The default one is one, and that's what, what typically works with Ableton. But if I go to number three, I've armed that to control those little guys right there. And these are these sliders right here on the APC in, in mode three. So again, mode three here, I'm holding shift and pressing that red button. I'll record arm for track three. And I'm in clip matrix launch mode number three. And what that allows me to do is play. I can turn off the arpeggio. And I have it basically just a minor scale. All 
all the way up six octaves. Um, so arpeggio on and off, gate right here, octave jumps, and my rate. So I can do cool uh, chord like stuff. So, very cool, of course, um, and the nice thing is because I'm feeding this analog track, I can actually record into that analog track my live performance, which I'm going to do here. It's just playing free, more or less, but... So there you go, and now I've got a sequence here that I can tweak. And strangely enough, I can go back. Let's go back to my default settings here. If I go into the sequencer, I can actually look at the sequence for that clip with the, ba the uh, built-in sequencer in the APC. So I'm going to go to my sequencer, shift and master. I can go ahead and tweak it, make it short. Oh, I, that's right. It's not going to show me the notes here because this is only displaying notes C, C sharp, D, D sharp, and E. So the notes are in there, but I'm still able to manipulate the length of it and when it starts and ends, which is very cool. So I can get single things. Whoops, now I'm way at the, at the threshold of the beginning there. <laughs> Trial and error, you know? So you can play with play some fun stuff, you know, get back into your regular clip mode. So there you see, uh, you can do some really cool things with this. Um, I've never played with any of the non-linear um, hardware devices, but it's kind of what I imagine those being like, like the Yamaha SU700. I, I've heard you can do some really cool sequencing stuff where you can chop things up and use different portions of the sequence. Well, that, that you can do right here with your APC and live and no other software. It's all built right into that. MIDI remote script. Um, I'm not going to dive into how to set up the MIDI remote script or any of that stuff, but uh, check online. There's plenty of stuff about that. Anyway, hopefully you find this long-winded tutorial useful. Um, you guys get to check out my hands, you know, my um, unsuccessful hand model career uh, ended many years ago in a tragic hand accident, so <laughs> here I am doing this stuff. Um, anyway, keep up the good music, keep up the good times, you know, enjoy life, be good to each other, and uh, have a good one. Bye.